Philippines Horizon Chaser. Narito po tayo sa Philippine Genomics Center dito sa Diliman. At uh, naganap rito isang press conference ng Department of Science Technology Genomics Program na may tema, From Log to Leaves, Impact of DOST, Lead Genomics Program in Philippines. Ang tema, pananaliksik para sa kalusugan, kayamanan at katatagan. Yan po ay pinangunahan ni Dr. Sencha Saloma, ang Executive Director ng PGC. At nagkaroon naman ng uh, keynote uh, message itong ating uh, kalihim ng DOST na walang iba ko din si Dr. Renato Solidum at uh, nagkaroon din ng uh, external evaluation of the DOST Genomics Program na mula sa US NSF sa pamamagitan ng virtual ni Dr. Sally Okanor ng US Embassy Science Fellow uh, Program Director at ang uh, presentation ng project and genomics. Ito po yung uh, naku, yung impact nitong uh, research ng uh, sinasabing aswang. Naku, hindi po yan totoo. Wala na pong aswang. Kundi ito ay isang malubhang sakit or tinatawag na uh, itong uh, epidemiology of extreme dystonia parkinsonism or tinatawag na LDP. So, hindi po ito uh, aswang. Kundi isang napakalubhang sakit at uh, na dapat natin kaawaan, sabi nga ni um, ating MC na si Director Richard Borgos ng STII. Ayan, so kaibigan natin yan. At sinunda naman yung uh, pag-aaral ng uh, DNA ng mga kahayupan, sabi nga ni Dr. Esther Flores, yung ating scientist of Philippine Carabao Center at uh, eksperto ito sa DNA ng ating mga karabaw o kaya ating uh, baboy na kung saan ay pwede pala na malahian ito ng magaganda kung kaya may mga uh, masasarap na lichon so yun ay dahil sa Philippine uh, karabaw kaya alright so tuloy-tuloy lamang tayo at may mga videos at syempre meron tayong mga uh, question and answer kasama na ating mga kamamahayag at ang inyong lingkod, may mga tanong po tayo na sinagot naman ng ating kalihim at yung iba natin mga opisyal ng ating gobyerno. Alright, so dinaluhan ito ng mga ahensya ng ating gobyerno na may kinalaman sa genomics at ang ating mga scientists. Uh, basta magkasama ang health, agriculture, at iba pa. Yung mga investors natin na riyan din po at open pa rin ang ating genomics para sa mga nais na makipag-partner at uh, alamin pa ninyo kung gaano ito kahalaga at bakit kailangan ipalaganap sa buong Pilipinas itong uh, uh, pagtingi uh, ng mga DNA at meron na mga po tayo dito sa ating bansa. Kailangan lamang ay lumawak ito at lumagana pa at makipag-partner po tayo. Alright, so dito lamang yan sa ating programang Happy Morning Show. Ang uh, inyong lingkod, Ms. Horizon Chaser, tuloy-tuloy lamang sa pakikinig. Through food security, and we will see the like UAs and the University of the Philippines and the whole scientific community the establishment of a genomics program. And the Philippine Genome Center has helped us a lot during the COVID-19 pandemic. With these milestones of successful DOSD investments, we are confident that we can continue transforming science, scientific ideas from the laboratory into tangible innovation and development that benefit the lives of our Filipinos. Ikana sa siyensya at teknolohiya, kalusugan ay sisigla at mabuti. Sa siyensya at teknolohiya, negosyo at kikita. Sa siyensya at teknolohiya, industriya aarangkada. Sa siyensya at teknolohiya, buhay natin ay gaganda. Of course, through science and technology and our collaboration, ang mukha natin ay may pag-asa. Meaning, we can develop new opportunities to create wealth, to promote human well-being through good health, through food security, and we will see the faces of Filipinos smiling and full of hope. We hope that we will also continue to uphold our slogan, One Department of Science for you, or One DOST, for you and one scientific community for you and we keep on pushing the boundaries in translating our national research efforts to achieve kalusugan 
kayamanan at katatagan para sa bawat sabay ng Pilipino. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Thank you, Secretary Bade, for that uh, very concise yet Our next speaker is going to talk about a very important topic. At sa pagkinig nyo, hindi na natin kita yung trabaho mo sa inyong kasalaman ng organization. You can get a podcast of the facts of the researchers that they do. And this is why we need our friends from the media. Kasi sila yung buka ng mga ating bibigay. Kundi pala tayo yung binagawa ng scientists. At kaya yung hala nila ito, may bahagi nila ito sa ating mga pangyayon. Sa ganun, lahat tayo ay meron tayong understanding ng pagtawa ng nagdagahan ng science at technology sa ating pangyayon. Ang susunod ko na speaker ay ang mag-uwag ng director ng National Science Foundation sa Estados Unidos. Siya din ang ibuha ng kapahanan ng mga Estados Unidos ng Medica dito sa Pilipinas upang gumawa ng isang assessment report dito po sa mga school tungkol sa ating genomic school ng ito sa bansa. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Dr. Shiles who is joining us virtually from the United States of America. scientist ano po talagang uh, matindi ang kanyang research para doon sa ginagawang assessment report mula sa United States sa uh, Embassy Science and Technology na kung saan ay uh, pinakita rin doon uh, nabanggit yung uh, mabilis na pag-responde ng Department of Science Technology hindi doon sa pag, uh, mag, uh, pagkalat ng SARS-CoV-2 kaya naman, pag-aain sila ng mga programa na may kinalaman sa pagsusuri, pagmamatsyag at iba pang teknolohiya. It is an inherited disease. So siya ay namangang ng sakit. Next slide. Meron po tayong gabi ng mga page. We're actually suicide sa Massachusetts General Hospital, Harvard Collaborative Center for Excellent Dystonia Parkinsonism, who actually developed the acid and provided the, provide the training in advanced research methods. Ano po ang pangunod? So, yes, mga kapitin ito ay nice to not improve the lives of Filipinos with genomics research. There is no other genetic screening campaign that has been performed at this scale by the single nation tackling their neurogenetic disease. The cost of effective and scalable genotyping platform can be used to advance our understanding of diseases that greatly impacts the Filipino population. Next slide. Uh, ito na po ang aking slide to pangmaan pakita naman ng pangmalitan po ng support ng Department of Science and Technology. Gagamitin po ang hanghang, ang siyensya, una-una, para po matanggal ang myth tungkol sa aswang na nasa Panay Islands. Kasi yan po ay may isang condition, it's a genetic condition, it has a genetic basis, and it causes the condition of X-linked dystonia Parkinsonism. 
So, para maging kumpulin mo, ay ito sa support ng Department of Science and Technology. May pagkakataon na po ang mga Pilipino makapag-tune to the global research efforts on the European Pilipino Pilipinas. So, ako rin ay mamaling na ang misyon po ang kalampas. Ngayon po, nagtindihan din na ang patungkol sa aswa. Ang pinigilin ko sa left video at sa right video, tignan nyo nyo ang may mukhang aswa ang basila. It's a unique Filipino disease, right? And uh, of course, we do not like to export that to the rest of the world. Instead, we want to work together so that we can assist and understand better the condition of those suffering from this disease. Huh? Not in Silang, not in Silang, but was Silang, not in Silang, in a while. At we began with nothing now, we have a part of the Galina, as if we be willing to see. Meron lang silang karamdaman. So isa po yan sa mga impactful studies na gawa ng genomics sa ating bansa. Okay? Now, nakita natin sa earlier presentations na si Gretano Rene na ang genomics ay hindi lang po. Hindi pwede rin siya sa mga hayop. My question is, um, Doon po sa genomics assessment report from Dr. Sally or kay Secretary na lang. And uh, yes po, dito po sa assessment report dito sa ating bansa, ano po yung pangunahing uh, bigyan pansin ng ating pamahalaan at bakit po? And sa ating follow-up question, sapat na po ba yung pondo ng P PGC? para po matugunan lahat ito ng mga napakagandang na programa ng genomics. Marami po kasi masusubusyonan. Thank you po. Kasi yung sagot ko, depende sa
It is not simply on the genetics program. It's the procurement law and uh, uh, faster uh, uh, clearances in the materials that we use, like uh, those that move pass uh, through customs. Kasi hindi lang naman pang USDN, hindi lang pang direction. This is a common concern ng research and development of scientific and medical community. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Secretary. So those who are promoting and creating degrees in resources, financial resources, I think we also have to give the call to improve our procurement law and improve our processes at the Bureau of Customs. Yes, sir. Uh, my question is, by the way, this is Tessa Villar from the Philippine Event News TV. And um, yung question ko po is regarding to, uh, artificial insemination, if we can also apply this uh, to uh, human animals and of course for plants, uh, sa grafting uh, with regards to this uh, genomics. And my second question is, um, is uh, this genomics, can this be the evolution of our health industry? Siyempre, ituturo natin yung talagang marunong dyan. So, ako may artificial intelligence. Kaya ipapasa ko yung tanong mo sa kanila. On AI, which is Artificial Insemination and Genetics Program. Dr. Ray Bora and then Dr. Jenny Montoya. Sayo po na, bago sa tao. Magandang umaga po. Kaya siguro napatid niya na hindi lang kahayupan ng ginagawa ng Richard, pati kabukuyan. <laughs> Ito yung Swine Project. Pero dahil nandito si Dr. Flores, ang artificial insemination of common practices sa animal science para may improving breed. And I'm going to ask Dr. Flores to answer the question. Kasi sila yung actual na gumagawa niya. Kasama na rin yung uh, may expert natin na nasa NDA, na si Dr. Leo Tori. Artificial insemination. Ah, si Jimmy na ko ang bahala si ethical consideration. Tiga, tutorial ko na siguro. Nalaman po ninyo, ah, sayang na sa hayop puro artificial insemination. Pero ito po kasi ang pinaka-effective na pamamaraan para maikalat natin ang cut-off. May specific challenges po ba with regards to directing funding or um, getting support for projects outside NCR. And secondly, this is what... So let me go. So we didn't know what I said. If you notice, ang karamihan ng universities na nagsimula sa NCR. So we'll establish yung mga university dito. So marami ng tao this way. Maraming research and development proposals are coming from NCR. But if you notice, in the past several years, starting in the past administration ng USD, dumadami na yung ano, nasa region. Because of the opportunities to do research by capacity building, we're also assisting them uh, in developing their R&D program by uh, sending up now many R&D leads uh, and public scientists, and also we're developing centers, research centers in the different regions. So that's why, kung ano notice mo, dilima ng simula ng Philippine Genome Center, may kapatid ng science natin. Um, with regards to that, sir, how do we plan to strike sample? support outside for projects outside NCR because a lot of the things that we have to do with these projects is agriculture right there. Hindi lang naman pang genomics yan, it's for all the research teams that we have. By really, again, itutuloy natin yung ating programa by assisting other universities, private and public yan, na wala pong masyadong R&D to develop their R&D program. Uh, magpadala tayo ng mga balik scientists or other scientists within NCR that can help others. Partner, we partner the other universities with established universities. Big brother, no? A small brother and them. And, and of course, uh, the main thrust of the USD now, as mentioned already, yung four pillars, kailangan nating matranslate ang mga research results natin to either to be adopted by national or local government and by uh, the industry. Microsoft, Medium, mga farmers, cooperative, marami tayong ginagawa. 
And so this will foster uh, R and D, uh, not only here in the MCR but also in the region. Thank you, Secretary. There's actually no more time, but we'd like to give space to some closing statements from the DA and the DOH. What are the plans of your departments for supporting genomic science in the Philippines? And how do you see this being used moving forward to develop your sectors? Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, first of all, uh, no, I'm not the secretary and president. But I was uh, delegated here by uh, senior undersecretary Amaniman. Anyway, uh, I'm also the director of the Department of Agriculture Biotechnology Program Office, which is, you know, you know this is part of. Kaya, hindi ito ako ngayon. And uh, what, uh, one of the programs of the uh, Department of Agriculture is to strengthen the biotechnology program. Uh, this is uh, all about uh, collaborating not only within the Department of Agriculture but also with the different state universities like UP and other universities around the Philippines. Kaya yung tanong kanina na nakoconcentrate dito, we are also cascading the technologies out, uh, outside the Metro Manila or NCR. So, nagkakaroon lang po kami ng collaboration with them. Siguro ang maganda rin natin isipin, while uh, the most of uh, researches are being done here in the NCR, the product is being cascaded naman sa ating mga probinsya so that they can use that, especially the agricultural sector, uh, crops, livestock, or even fisheries. So, yun po ang mabuti ngayon sa kagawa ng pagsasaka at natutulungan po natin yung maliliit nating mga uh, stakeholders in regards to biotechnology and genomics. Thank you. So, um, I think lahat naman tayo at dito ng pandemya. At uh, talagang naman namin yung halaga ng datos sa nakukuha natin sa food genome sequence well, the core of epidemiology is really case data, laboratory data, para bang level up natin no, yung kadidad ng datos na naibibigay natin when we were provided the school sequencing data. And we're very thankful to DOST for actually sending seed money, and that's why UPPGC was established. And it now branched out to the size and with the now, we now have RIPM. And what we would like to look forward to is number one. Hindi po natin dapat kinakalimutan yung natutunan natin pag COVID. You know, the load that's mission over the past years para masisiwala na natin kalimutan yung pinagdaanan natin. We don't we want to get over the trauma, but whatever we gain, whatever lessons we learn, gusto natin ituloy-tuloy siya at i-improve on pa natin. And that means, being able to continue to support, of course, the biosurveillance program for UPGGC and other sequencing laboratories. Um, isang malaking magiging proyekto ng ating gobyerno, I think, will be the proposed genomic consortium. And that intends to pull in sequencing laboratories, not just for public health surveillance, but also the value of research. Alam natin, hindi lang naman surveillance na makakapagbigay ng datos. Napakahalaga ng research. At yun ay Ang, ang commitment ng departamento ay siyang magiging sentro kung saan papasok ang mga datos para mabuo natin yung istorya sa binaliset, no? Uh, being able to package it, communicate it para hindi lang mga scientists, hindi lang government employees sa makagamit, but you, no? The public, the media, magamit nyo siya. Kayo po yung makakapag-desisyon sa gagawin nyo araw-araw. I think um, yung last ay we need to look forward to expanding beyond COVID. Hindi lang COVID po ang sakit sa bansa. Marami tayo endemic diseases like dengue or vaccine-preventable diseases which actually have a high burden. And we never know when the next pandemic will happen. We call it the disease end. So we need to be ready. And when I talk about being ready, it's not just the health sector, pero kapartner po namin ang Department of Agriculture, kapartner natin ang Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Dahil yung tatlong sector na yun, pwede CBP ka mang galing, no? Yung susunod na public health emergency natin. Thank you po. Thank you very much.
you very much. Thank you very much. And now uh, I know that in your heads, our friends in the media, there are many other questions playing around there. Malami po kayong mga katanungan. Pero nagtatapos na po yung ating uh, oras. So, um, make sure that uh, you send your questions or clarifications to Joy or Jane para po matugunan po ang mga ito. Right? Sa ngayon po, um, uh, tinatawag na po ang ating Undersecretary for R&D para sa kanilang panguling pananalita, si Dr. Lea Buendia. First, I'd like to thank our distinguished guests, particularly our media partners. They are around uh, 15 or more media partners and uh, they're here to really support the Philippine Genome Center and the researches that has been done in the Philippine Genome Center. And second, I'd like to uh, thank our researchers who have uh, also did a uh, good job in uh, bringing science to the people, especially during COVID. And uh, testament to this are our startups and our uh, spin-off companies that have been developed. And uh, to this end, I'd like to challenge actually the Philippine Genome Centers, not only this uh, the one that you put in demand, but uh, I'd like to challenge the Philippine Genome Centers to sustain the human resources and secure the criteria items from the Department of Budget and Management so that this to maximize the translation of r and initiatives into impact. We encourage both public and private sector to support and invest in R&D programs like the DST Genomics Program which holds a great promise of enhancing the quality of life of our Filipino people. We hope that the inspiring insights shared today will prompt greater investments and support for r and initiatives in our country. We envision a future where innovation, digitalization, and diversity will drive progress in all sectors, and with your assistance, we can achieve this goal. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to working with you to continue driving progress and innovation in the field of genetics. Again, that will not be Nanoparticles, kaya tinawag na nanoboom, tapos magbabago ka agad ng kulay. Oh. <laughs> magbabago ng kulay. Pag nagbago ng kulay, tulad nito yung tubo, eto positive pula. Itong tatlo, negative. Kaya yan, titingnan mo lang. Kanyang nakadali. Ganyan lang, kaya ang dali. Tapos, uh, hindi naman ganun kamahalan yung 4,000 pa. Mura na yun. 4,000, 10 yun. Ah, 10 po na yun. Di 400 lang pa. So, bali ito, 400, 400, 400. Tapos, mas mura pa dahil itong isang chute, pwedeng tatlong baboy, tatlong dugo yan. So, pumapata 400 divided by 3. Saan po pwedeng nakabili? Ayan. Ayan, ito yung ano namin. Oh. Ito na lang. Nandito yung contact numbers namin. Tapos, pwedeng tingnan nyo yung website para malaman nyo kung ano-ano yung mga test kits na tinitinda namin. Pati sa manok. Meron ka. Oo. Oh, ito yung ito, nandito na. Ayan, so marami tayong natutunan hinggil sa genomics kasama na ang kahayupan bukod sa mga tao at agriculture at kung ano-ano pa na mapapadali na po ang lahat. 
Imagine ninyo, makapagpalahi na po pala tayo ng mga gagandang lahi ng mga hayop at makakakain tayo ng masasarang, masasarap na or malasa ng mga hayop. Di, po, di pa po na kung saan ay uh, hindi na natin kailangan ng mga alternatibong pampalasa kung malasa naman ang ating mga kahayupan. Kaya magandang maganda po itong balitang ito na inihatid po sa atin ng Department of Science and Technology. At ang ganda nito dahil hindi na natin kailangan magpadala pa ng mga uh, DNA sa ibang bansa kundi meron na po tayo sa ating sariling bansa at nakakatipid na po ang ating pamahalaan at mapapabilis ang mga resulta kung nais po natin. Alright, so abangan nyo po ang iba pang mga report. Dito lamang yan sa Happy Morning Show ang inyong lingkod, Mr. Rison Chaser. I love you all.